some forms of nostalgia are useful tools for the far right. So on the one hand... And if I make the determination, that means that you're racist. Yeah. And wow. You have <laughs> harmless nostalgia. I like old video games. The nostalgia that I like is harmless. Yeah. The nostalgia that qu the quartering and other people on the right like is fascism. Is evil. Yeah. On the other hand, you have a dangerous nostalgia. My people were great once, until they were conspired against and humiliated, and we must return to our former glory through bloodshed. Who's, is that the quarter? Uh, uh, Jeremy, I missed that one. What was I missed that? that episode of the quarter. <laughs> what, what video was that? God damn, that's awful. That's well, see, awful. But this is why this is so dishonest because it's like the only people that say that shit are like the white nationalists. And totally. then he keeps com he keeps conflating them with the uh, conservatism. Yeah. Yes. It's not hard to see how the connection was built. It's not hard to to straw man a connection between these two. <laughs> mm -hmm. I do like the uh, the nineties background though. Oh Big yeah, that. look at that. That nineties trapper keeper MTV. aesthetic. Yep. Yeah. One thing that gets geeks in a snit is when people mess with established canon. You can't go back and change the way a character looks. You're not sticking to the source material. You can't cast a black woman as Mary Jane. She's white in the comic books. Cookie Monster doesn't eat vegetables. He eats cookies. In their minds, the very best version of the- So, mm -hmm. okay. Should we let him keep going before? Maybe we should let him give his stupid idea. These properties has already been delivered to us. It's not our job to change them or to iterate on them, but to simply imitate them in perpetuity. Do okay. Yeah. This is why he's an idiot and doesn't understand mm -hmm. anything. Okay. That's why he thinks people are against the changes. He's like, oh, it's because of the nostalgia. It's because they think this is the most perfect form. Like, like the fascist. They think that Cookie Monster existed in the most perfect form. It can never be changed. Like, no. Not true. Yeah. Not true, idiot. Okay. The reason is because what I said earlier. It's because people look at changing Cookie Monster from caring about cookies to, vet to vegetables or changing like Mary Jane to be black or whatever. They look at that as just another step. Another piece of evidence to show that the woke SJW side has gained another foothold in modern culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Deviations from established canon, deviations from the source material, represent a threat to the thing you care about, an attempt to change it, to subvert it. And this yeah. passion isn't archival either. I think it's an unassailable good to maintain an archive of old works. I think it's bad to alter those works when and if the altered version is the only archived one. I mean, do you think this idiot would be in favor of changing, I don't know, uh, the X-Men to suddenly being, you know, X-Men was always something that was very pro-civil rights, right? Yeah. It was always about. Sure, you know, totally. An allegory for the civil rights. So should the X-Men be changed so that suddenly the good guys are all white nationalists and they all want their own separate, you know, mutant state instead oh, of the bad yeah. guys? Totally. Or is that injecting politics where it doesn't belong <laughs> in the story? Oh, my God. Can you imagine the heads exploding if, like... <laughs> Right, like all of a sudden, X Men is all ethno nationalists. <laughs> like, but just you could—it's very simple. Just take any like, what if they made Captain America? They made him like super conservative, you know, super yeah. conservative Republican or something. Like, imagine if they took any. They of turned these... Captain America into a Nazi. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. There was yeah. some, but he wasn't really. I was some bullshit. Nazi storyline. Um, um, but no, but this is why this is such bullshit because you could. They're, they're only, they only mock it because it's all going in one direction. You could take any of a popular um, media, you know, any popular uh, thing. Like you could take Ghostbusters, you could take Jurassic Park, you could take any of the superheroes, Star Wars, you could take any of that stuff. Okay. And if you put it through a political lens and a remake and you made it more right wing or more conservative, they would all be losing their shit and saying, this is proof that America's like controlled by fascist, racist, sexist. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt, future generations deserve to have the original versions of things preserved for them for study. And just, you know, to enjoy. I think it sucks, for example, that the original prince... So he kind of agrees with the conservatives here. That, like, why change a good thing? 
Well, I mean, he's saying it that's should their exist. Argument. He's saying it. He's saying that the original things should always be accessible, but it's fine for people to keep changing them, and like as long as the original things continue to exist. Yeah. Which again, yes. there there is a lot of leftists who are trying to literally destroy. The original yeah, they works, they want to make it so you can't. I mean, the the com, the community episode was erased from Netflix. So right, exactly. Netflix it's not there in perpetuity. What are you talking right. about? And I can I can only watch it because I have literally the physical DVDs that I bought years ago, right? Yeah. How many people? You know, there's gonna be a there's gonna be a, a very clear future from now, where almost all media that you watch is gonna be on, through a streaming service. You're not gonna have a physical copy of it. So yeah. if Netflix makes a determination that some episode is problematic or some movie is problematic, it's like, well, good luck fucking getting it. Yeah, becomes pro, uh, prohibited. Right. And th- didn't they do that like? And they do it with like Mike Cernovich's book. They're like, Amazon's like, we're not going to sell Mike Cernovich's book. Oh, that book. too. Yeah, they totally, you know, they took it off. Of Star Wars were destroyed in making the special editions. And just to head this off at the pass, because I can hear you typing in the comments, I don't think that statues of Confederate generals have much cultural value. So fuck them. Kill all statues. <laughs> Okay, so but anyway, before we get into the statues thing, it's a funny that he brought the Star Wars thing because that's the perfect example of change gone wrong, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like everyone was fine with them updating the special effects and like the lightsabers to make them look better, but all the shit that George Lucas added, all the new progress and change that he added to the Star Wars things, right. were all fucking awful, and everyone hated them, and we're like, please, just give us the originals, and he's like, oh, we can't, because we literally fucking destroyed the original. <laughs> it's so funny. They want to take steps back. They want to effectively take the conservative position, but no. Nah. Like, he just right. took the conservative position, didn't he? Yep. And well, and then he goes on with the, this is, this is why the statue thing bothers me, because it's a total straw man. It's like, yes. There's a difference between remove first of all there's there's so much things here so many like caveats here first of all oh, yeah. no statue should be removed violently by force okay yeah. if you don't like a statue you fucking petition the government and you vote because we live in a fucking democracy and you get it removed through that and if you don't that means you don't believe in fucking democracy and you're well, you fucking don't anti-american in property shit. rights as well right that's not okay? your property just because you disagree with something doesn't mean you have the right to create a mob to violently rip it down. Okay. Yeah. Fuck you. Exactly. Fuck you. The law applies to everyone equally. Yeah. All right. So that's number one. Number two, I agree. I think that people should vote to remove all Confederate statues because they're literally fucking traitors to the country that we currently live in right now. Okay. Yep. So fuck Confederate statues. But number three, so many of the statues being removed now are not Confederate statues at all yeah statues of george washington statues of the guy who wrote uh the fucking national anthem okay Mm -hmm. statues of thomas jefferson statues of the elk club statue for some reason was burnt like the Mm -hmm. there's so many fucking statues that have nothing to do with racism or the confederacy that are being destroyed sad we're losing our heritage I mean, they just they just destroyed a Christopher Columbus statue, and now they're they're making noise about renaming Columbus, the city of Columbus, to be something different. Like, oh my God! They fucking they destroyed. There's a statue. I think where is it in like Milwaukee? There's a statue of the Fonz oh, that wow. they threw into the water. The Fonz. Wow. What does that have to do with fucking anything political? Well, he's a white straight male, obviously. I guess it's like it's just crazy. And this is a problem. If if how can I trust a fucking word out of Thought Slime's mouth if he can't even address this? If he can't address the fuck ups that are happening with the statue shit. This is why, even if you agree with something like I don't think Confederate statues should be available, you know, should be up. Even if you agree with that, you still have to follow the rules of law because when you don't, there's always these assholes who as soon as you give them an inch, they fucking take it. A mile and they start doing whatever they want they start going for more statues newer statues you always have to be aware of the extremists adam yeah i know they scare me i'm terrified 